just like oh boom they feel like they're gonna die so they're like dumping all their adrenaline you know like it's a fight like they feel like they're in a fight and they're not used to it right those turn that first tournament for everybody that adrenaline dump it was just like like you just feel like (laughs) everything like all your power is gone yeah that was that first tournament was rough but good learning experience right I feel like any everybody should train or uh, what is it compete sometime sooner or later. Oh man, it would trigger some people. Some people. I mean, I get it. Like I wasn't gonna compete at all. Like when I first uh, joined Jiu Jitsu, it was really like no no plans for me at all to compete. I was just like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm just happy just taking classes and learning and like okay I can take care of myself. I can grapple. I like Jiu Jitsu. I'm a big fan. Like I'm a huge fanboy. I know like. I follow. I was literally watching uh, some flow grappling while I was waiting for us to like some subversive or yeah, whatever. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. number one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm huge, uh, dude. I'm a huge fanboy. I know a lot of these. These uh, mm-hmm. it's, I was w- listening to that uh, Gordon Ryan, um, Joe Rogan podcast uh, earlier. Today. I'm not gonna watch it, but uh, <laughs> have you ever been uh, starstruck before? Um, actually, I would say the first time. So when I first joined <laughs> the uh, first time, <laughs> no, no, no. First time, like jujitsu starstruck was like, probably the only time is, um, you know, I joined uh, OBJJ when I was uh, Alliance with Bruno mm-hmm. Malpacini, but he was like busy, like traveling around the world. So there was like a whole month where I didn't even see him. Like mm-hmm. I never even met him even after a month of joining. And then I guess he came back from his like uh, seminar tour and then I was like, oh, cool, he's here. And I was like, you know, since since it's his school and he wasn't even there, I felt like, oh man, I guess he's like kind of like big, you know, super famous or something. Yeah. So first time meeting him and training under him, I was like, oh, this is, you know, kind of fanboyed because of that. I was like, oh man, I just shook his hand, you know? Oh my God. But, yeah, but uh, yeah, after that, it was it was cool. Oh, um, I think after Bunima Fasini uh, left and then, and then Mat- Mateus Lutis came mm. to, to teach like for a week or something. And like, I think Brad invited him over. So that was cool because I was a big fan of him. And he was a like, you know, very competitive, high level brown belt. Now he's a black belt. So that was cool too. But um, yeah, I'm, you know, I follow like all the big names. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fanboy. <laughs> yeah. 